talent collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Clayface and Black Adam from Spin Masters Batman and DC lines respectively. And these are their lines of 4-inch DC figures that they've been doing for quite some time. Uh, but yeah, very excited to find these. Uh, didn't actually ever see these in stores, but I found them on Target.com. Uh, usually these figures are about $8 a piece, which I still think is a really good value for what you get. But Target had them on sale for like $4.50 each, so I couldn't say no. Only drawback is Target likes to put stickers right on the products wherever they feel like it. Um, luckily, I don't really keep the packaging. So we have seen uh, versions of both of these characters before. There was a Clayface a long time ago, back when like the line first launched, that was in a pack with a Batman and a Bat Cycle. That one didn't really have a ton of articulation. I think it had like a waist swivel, a head swivel, and maybe the shoulders. Uh, this one, as you can see here has elbows still doesn't have knees but he's got thigh swivels so nice to see a new version of clayface i liked the old one but i feel like it was definitely worth an update and then here we're getting a comic accurate black adam previously we just had the rock version <laughs> Dwayne black adam johnson um from the movie line that they did and so it's nice to get a you know comic accurate version of black adam here so pretty neat but uh yeah we'll take a look at the packaging here very open style packaging you should have some accessories here in the side the the assortment here for batman these days I, i'm just disappointed this line was so great in the beginning and had so much potential and and now it's just a couple different versions of batman joker robin nightwing pretty much always included i'm surprised we got the clay face and then there's some like gold and silver variants i don't know i just i wish they would do more characters i wish they would open up the dc line and do more characters because there's so many they could do and i understand you always want to have a batman available that's fine but i mean look at this assortment i mean we've got multiple versions of all the rest of these clayface is the only one and even he's a character they've done before it is an upgrade it is a new version but come on spin master there's so much more you could be diving into I don't know if they have assortment yet. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't really show an assortment on the DC packaging. But that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead, get these two out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. I guess we'll start with Black Adam. I think he's just a little bit less interesting than Clayface, but still looks pretty good. Head sculpt is nice. The paint on the eyes is actually really good for how small and intricate that would have to be. Serious eyebrows there. He's got his little pointed ears. It's got the lightning bolt there on the chest. All that looks good. Belt is painted all the way around, which I appreciate. Uh, I think it's interesting. Usually with these, they cut a hole in the cape so that if you wanted to attach something in that peg hole in the back, you wouldn't have to kind of go through the cape. But that did not happen here, which is definitely not usual. But uh, the cape is kind of like a nylon material. And unfortunately, because of the way they kind of feed it into... The cardboard, when it's on the card, it's like behind it. You kind of have to pull it out. So it did wrinkle quite a bit. So cape's not the best thing, but it's not the worst. Uh, Articulation-wise, head can swivel from side to side. You have a hinge and a rotation at the shoulder. You have a hinge and a rotation at the elbow. From the elbow down is one solid piece, so nothing at the hands or wrist. Uh, nothing in the waist, but you do have ball joint in the hips, so you can kick forward. Kick out to the side pretty far. Uh, he does have a butt flap, so nothing going on towards the back. You have a thigh swivel, and then you have a bend and a rotation at the knee. Nice painting down here for the boots. I think they did a really good job there. I'm assuming it's all black plastic, and then they just painted the yellow, so the black shining through is actually the plastic, because you can see the yellow is kind of caked on, because <laughs> to get a lighter color paint on top of a darker colored plastic, they really have to layer it, but it came out good. I think it looks nice. Looks sharp. I'm happy with it. Decent little figure here. And then the two accessories he comes with, you have this like lightning bolt piece, which you just kind of pop into his hand. There is a little, uh, you know, peg or tab or whatever you want to call for him to hold on to. And then he comes with a like broken dented girder piece, which he can't really hold. So, I don't know. You could just throw it at somebody, I guess. I don't know. In any case, <laughs> that's what we have there. But still, it's a good figure. I mean, nice articulation, good paint applications. The accessories are a little lacking, but I mean, let's be honest, the accessories for Spin Master have never been really the major selling point to me. So if some of them happen to be cool, I'm, I'm happy. If they're not, I kind of just write them off and 
I'm just happy to get the figures because like I said, for the price, I really feel like they're reasonable. The price on these was exceptionally reasonable, so I really am not bothered by the accessories at all. We'll move on to Clayface now. I think he actually looks pretty good. Still has the uh, peg hole in the back, so if you wanted to attach an accessory from someone else, you absolutely could. The head sculpt, I think, is really good. You can see, like, the rows of teeth going back like a shark. I think that's really cool. For whatever reason, it looks like they didn't paint half of them on mine, or maybe they're just... Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so when you look at them from certain angles, they don't look painted. But then you can kind of see, like, they kind of painted the side of them, so maybe the... Just a little mismatch, but either way, still looks cool. The eyes look great, the expression, the head sculpt, all of this molded detail in the body, I think, is really nice. I'm wondering if they kind of took the Swamp Thing body and modified it. I don't really have it handy, but it's definitely giving me Swamp Thing vibes, but it works. I mean, it makes sense. They have similar body structures, I guess. You can swivel the head from side to side. You have a hinge here in the shoulder, as well as a rotation. Kind of tight on mine, though, and the, the elbows are even tighter, but you have a hinge and a rotation. I'm wondering if they made them tight on purpose just because of the weight, so they don't droop, which I'm fine with because they do hold up. You have the hand here kind of forming like a solid block. Over here you have the spiked ball, which I think looks really cool. It almost looks like these are removable, but I don't think they are. But you can kind of see there's a seam. I think it's just where the two different kinds of plastic were pushed together. So I don't think they're removable in any way. Um, nothing in the waist. You have a ball joint in the hip. It's a little weird. Like, I can get it to go out to the side, no problem. He can definitely do the splits. But then when I try to kind of move it forward, it feels a little hesitant. And I really don't want to break it. So it, it doesn't really feel like it wants to move up. So a little weird there. But you do have... Thigh swivel again from there down is one solid piece, but he's cool. I like him. I think he looks pretty good. Can't really hold any accessories, but that's fine because the accessory that he comes with is this clay boulder rock piece. Um, now, it says two accessories, but this was it came like this in one bag. Now, I don't know. It is You can split it apart, and I don't know if they're counting this as two accessories. But to me, this is two halves of one. So I don't know if something happened and I didn't get the second one. Or if they really are considering this two pieces and calling that two accessories is a little lame, in my opinion. But maybe I just got, you know, they missed putting the second one in there. I don't know. But again, I don't really care about the accessories. <laughs> so you have a kind of clay boulder. I guess you could throw it Batman or somebody. Yeah, again, accessories, not really the strong suit, but I think the figure looks good. I really like the molding on the head. I wish the teeth were painted a little better. It does look like they were kind of painted, but they almost kind of just painted the side of them. So, but they're small. I get it. You know, they're very, very tiny, and I'll give them a pass on that. But I think the design is really cool. Like I said, a little weirded out by the feet or how the hips go forward, or, or I should say don't really want to go forward at all. Um, but other than that, pretty cool. I think it's definitely an upgrade to the original because the original, now the original did have a waist swivel, so I'll give it that, but it was a waist swivel and the rest of it down was one solid piece. There was no movement in the legs whatsoever. The, uh, figure did not have elbows and it just had the hinges on the shoulder. It was a cool look. I felt like that one looked a little bit more inspired by... The old Batman animated series, where this one is probably kind of a generic comic design. But I really like having, you know, the giant block and the spiked ball. I think the original had the spiked ball as well. Definitely a clay face staple. But yeah, it's a good figure. I mean, like I said, for $8, I really can't complain. For $4.50, I absolutely can't complain. Now, you might not be able to find the same deal, but even if you had to pay full price, I feel like the value is still there because they're so reasonable. $8 a piece. For the level of molded detail and not a ton of paint applications. I mean, some have more than others. Obviously, Clayface really just has the paint on the face. Someone like Black Adam has a lot more paint applications. The hands are honestly probably painted over top of the black plastic along with the gold bands. So all of the yellow, it, uh, the head obviously is molded out of a different color. But even probably this paint here for like the neck area 
So this one has a lot more paint than this one. But again, they're all around, you know, $8. And this one's definitely bulkier. I mean, you can feel the weight with Clayface as opposed to Black Adam. So, you know, maybe less paint applications, but it's because denser, heavier plastic was used. So there's trade-offs. But in any case, I still think for the value, they're good figures. And I really wish Spin Master would just open it up and do more because DC's got a lot of characters out there that they could be touching on. But I guess they're just afraid, you know, anyone besides Batman, Robin, Nightwing, and Joker won't sell. And that's a bummer because I hope they would. I think they would. But we'll never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which one of these is your favorite? Are you planning on collecting these? Have you collected other ones? Let me know. I'd uh, love to hear from you in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.